Have you ever drawn a car before? Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I've drawn a cartoon car. Okay, so Abdul and Viraj have both drawn a cartoon car. How about Avantika and Kaira? Have you drawn a car before? Yes, ma'am. What kind of car have you drawn before? I have drawn a cartoon car. Very good. Today also we're going to draw something like a cartoon car only. Ma'am. Yeah. Be my medal. One minute, huh? Oh. Let's see. Oh, wow. What is that medal for, Abdul? Ma'am, can I say Hindi? Bolo. Kala Bharti mein mila. Ek minute, huh? Ma'am, zara aapka pin karti hoon. फिर से बताइए कला भारती में मिला भागने में ओके हाँ अच्छा ये कौन सा सर्टिफिकेट है थोड़ा सा पास में ले आओ कला भारती चाइल्ड आर्ट इंस्टीट्यूट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड तो क्या बनाया आपने वेनम Oh, very nice. Okay, Viraj, are you showing us your car? No, you're not showing your car. Okay, I'll I'll show you the car that I have chosen for us. I think that's my most favorite car. Do you know what car this is? Do you know what it's called? No, I think it's called a bug. Called a bug or it's called a beetle. I like it because the funny thing about this car is its engine is in the back. And all the space in the front is empty. It, so the, the boot is in the front and the bonnet is in the back. I think this must be one of new cars which has got reversed boot and bonnet. Ma'am, it's like ulta. It's ulta, but it goes sida. Yes. Okay, it's like now, a car backwards which goes backwards. It seems like it should go backwards because the engine is in the back. But they use the engine in the back to push the car forward. And I think in other cars, they put the engine in the front to pull the car forward. So we're going to draw this car and then the best part is we're going to decorate the car in some fun way. We're going to draw, you can draw whatever you want on it. So imagine this is like a clown car and you can color it the way you want to. Okay? Yeah. Uh, okay, Chalo, let's start. So I want you to today try to draw some shapes very lightly and then we will make the shapes dark. So I'm going to show it to you first in rough. Okay. And then I want you to try to draw it. Often when we draw things, we draw, if you were to draw very dark lines, then we can't adjust the line. So we can't change it. So today we are going to draw the lines like that. We are first going to draw a light oval or circle. And it's very light, but you will be able to see it. And then on this, don't draw right now. I just want you to see it, Kaira. See it. I'm going to show it to you afterwards. Everyone I'm going to show. So I want you to see how I'm drawing it and why you need to draw it light. Nobody touch your pencils. I'll, I'm going to do this very quickly. So we draw an egg shape then we draw a line through the middle. Look at how light I'm making this line. And then one line in the middle through here. And then we will draw 
one part of the card this way and one part of the card that way. So we're going to draw shapes like this. And once we are comfortable with the shapes, then we will draw the car like this. See, then we will draw a firm line. So when we draw things like this, we can make sure that our shapes are looking good. And we can adjust the shapes. Okay, so I'm going to show you all of this. How See, I'm going to draw a few shapes on the left of this line, which will include the front of the car. This is the top of the car. And then on the right side, we will draw the side of the car, which will have one big window divided into two windows. Okay, so this is how if you draw your cars and other machines, you can draw the shape much better. Will you, do you want to try it like that? Okay, yes. all right. Now you know what to expect. So there are no surprises here. So I want you to practice drawing light lines. I'm going to draw the line slightly dark so that you can see it. Now, Kyra, today I want you to try to draw a big car. Don't draw a tiny car in one corner. I want you to try and draw a big car in the middle of the page. Have you started drawing already or erasing? Okay, so this is our oval. I'm going to draw a big egg shape like that. Okay, draw with me. Now you can draw. Then divide the oval in half, horizontally and vertically. Can you see my lines a little bit? Now, over here, just close to this line in the center, I want you to draw another circle like this. It doesn't go all the way to the top. It's just like this over here. And then I want us to draw a shape like this, like a D shape that goes through. May you wait for me? Yes, yes. So a circle over here. And look at how big the circle is. There's very little space from the top. And it's almost touching the middle line. It is touching the middle line. And then in the same line, we'll make another circle like this. This circle on the left is slightly smaller than this circle. Now, I don't want you to draw the line very dark. So hold the pencil far away. Hold the pencil far so that you can't press the line. Now, from the base, from the bottom of this oval where we have this line, we will draw one more line going to the left, but it's going slightly high up. Not too high. Don't tilt it so much. But if this is the straight line, it just tilts a little bit to the top left on the left hand side. And then the same thing on the right, top right, it tilts a little bit on the right hand side. And just at this end, almost the same size as here, Here we will make another oval shape. So not a circle, but an oval. Can you see all your lines? Are your shapes looking like my shapes? Yes, ma'am. Two circles, an inverted flat D shape, an oval over here. And from the top, we will have this shape like that.
I'm making this come down a little bit from the top of that oval. So it's this flat. And from the side, I will draw a line that comes down a little bit like this, like a V shape. And this will go sideways like that. Very gentle. Don't bring it too down like that. Don't make it too crooked. Even if you do, it's fine. I'll draw another line at the base because the wheels have to be like this. They should be in a V shape. Now this is called a sketch. This would be how a sketch works. And on this now we can see all sorts of shapes of how our car is going to fit. Now I'm going to shift to pen, okay, so that you can see the lines better. You can see the pencil lines different and the pen different. So what have we drawn? I'm going over it all over again. We've drawn one oval. Then we've drawn a vertical line and horizontal line running through the center of the oval. Then on the left half of the oval, we have drawn a circle a D shaped, an inverted D shape that goes a little outside of the oval, just a little bit. And then at the end of the oval, we have drawn another small circle. Then we drew this one slight V line that comes to the base of the oval, another line that goes up. And then at the end of the oval, we draw another circle. Then we drew this slight V shape in the middle of the oval and we made a flat top, slightly flattish top for the car, but we made it slightly angular over here because this is the front of the car. And then we have given ourselves two lines, guidelines over here which look like the baseline. Now, just for some of you who are slightly older who will, might understand this, this part of the car is closest to us, right? So this part will look big. And these parts are smaller. So they look smaller. Oh, sorry, they're far away. So they will look smaller and they will look higher on the page. Just listen to me right now. Later on, you will understand what I'm trying to say. So anything that is closer is lower on the page, even if it's by a small amount. And anything that is far is higher on the page. This is the top, this is the bottom of the page of this paper. So anything that's closer will be closer to the bottom. So this wheel is going to be slightly lower than this wheel, okay? And this wheel, because those are slightly far away, not too far but just a little bit. Okay, everyone with me? Yeah? All right. Now let's start making the car. So first thing we will do is in this half of the car, I am making the windshield, which looks like this. The bottom is slightly rounded. Even the sides are rounded. You can make two lines because it will have a um, rubber, I guess, sealant or something like that. This can also be slightly rounded. Now, just underneath this, we are going to make a triangle shape. We won't come all the way to here. But starting somewhere here, you will draw the boot which goes close to the base of our windshield, then starts coming out and then starts going in like a D shape or a C shape. Doesn't just comes to this line that we have drawn between the two circles, the top line, then goes horizontal. Turns a little to the side, 
and then in a gentle slope goes and joins back over there. So it's almost like a teardrop shape with a flat front. Okay, take your time drawing it. Draw it slowly. Don't draw it in a rush. I'll wait for everyone. Now at this point, we will draw the other side of the car, which comes like this and it joins back on this line. Can you wait? Yes, yes, I'll wait. Please tell me to wait if you think I'm going too fast. Done, Viral? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Now here, I want to show you something. We are going to draw a line which is called a mud guard. And it comes like this. A little to the left and somewhere over a little to the right over here. And it's, it's like this. It turns a little bit. But why I'm drawing this in pencil first is because I've want to draw the second mud guard around it. So first I will draw this part. Just at the end it turns a little bit, it curls a little bit. So see how it's come to almost the middle of the circle. This is our circle. And the next shape we have to make is from the side over here. Now from the little from the side of this mud guard I will pull a line that goes in a an inverted U shape to the side of the circle like that and a little lower than where it starts. And from the other side, I will just draw around the circle itself. And the two join. Now this becomes the front of the car. There are still a few lights and uh, trimmings that we have to put. Now moving to the back, we have to do something similar. We have to draw two windows over here and a back circle. Uh, I think I can move this a little closer. So I'm going to make this shape to see how to adjust my shape. Yes, this is fine. Need to come a little closer. So I'm making this oval shape a little closer here. Otherwise, my car will look very big. So see how much space we have in the front, about the same space we keep in the back. Now, at this point, we will draw a line that goes up to our circle or oval shape that we've made here, but slightly slanting up. And you will draw what is called a footboard like that.
then you will draw a trim line which goes almost curved and then almost straight on that v-shaped line that we had made and the same line it goes straight and then turns downward and from here the line comes in a curve like this So anytime you have to draw shapes like these, first you can draw the inside shape and then you can draw the outside shape around it. That's what we're going to do for the windows. The seat windows have to be small. By the way, this car had only one door and when people had to sit in the back, they had to lift the seat up and then people had to climb in the back. I'm sure you must have seen some cars like that also. And if you're not sure about how big you want to draw, certain shapes always use a pencil lightly and draw the shape in pencil very lightly first like this so it's slightly upright on the front and on the back it leans it slopes down even more i think i can go somewhere a little higher and then I'm going to draw a line from the entire top. Now, here's an example, example of when you can use the eraser. After this whole thing is done, I'm going to use an eraser. Okay, now I'm making the windows separately. And all the edges have to be rounded like that. Round them here. Round them here round them like this see and then make a line around the whole window Now this oval that we had drawn, we will draw a line coming down to the back, just half. I'll wait. Shall we proceed or do you want me to wait? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now inside this, we have to make another circle or uh, semi-circle or a semi-oval. But see how this goes. I'll make it a little big here. Then it becomes small and it goes very close to the back. And now we will draw the side of the car. So it comes almost straight up. And then it turns flat and goes around the back and joins the back like this. This is how the hood, would this be the hood? I think this is the hood of the car, yes. It will be drawn. Let me straighten this one.
Now the important part comes where we have to draw the wheels. So the wheel of the car will be inside this circle. See, it will come to the bottom. It's not in the middle of the circle. It's in the bottom of the circle. It touches the bottom. And then you will draw a circle inside that circle also. So there's two consecutive, uh, not consecutive, what are they called? Concentric circles. But on the left side, you will draw a thickness to this, like a C shape. So I'm going to show you how to draw this. You know where the circle comes? This is the wheel. It's almost like a full circle. And then inside that, there is also a circle. These are circles, one inside the other. And then from the bottom circle, you take a line that goes straight to the side, just a small amount. And then the same amount goes to the left like that. So this is how our tires will look like they're thick. And uh, even at this stage, you could probably color that part of the time because it is going to be black. Now, just at the base here, I will draw part of the car that comes underneath the hood, underneath the mud guard, and the same kind of circle we are going to draw right underneath this part. You'll already see a part of that circle, so it won't come all the way down here. It will be slightly higher. And that's how this will look. So whenever you are again trying, drawing tires or anything circular, see how we did it? We first drew the circle for the mud guard. And then with re in relation to the mud guard, where is our tire? It's much lower because it has to touch the ground. The mud guard is kept hanging. You know why it's called a mud guard? Because as the tires spin, they uh, there's a lot of mud that gets attached to the tire. But the guard will then keep the mud down and throws it right back onto the ground. So that's why these are called mud guards. Now, similarly, we have this oval shape on which we have made a mud guard. So again, imagine the center of the oval. And we make our tire along the center of the oval, but lower, touching the lower part of the oval. And again, in this, we make the inside of this tire right in the center of the oval. And we don't draw this part, of course. We will draw just the oval part. And then from the left, again, we will draw the thickness of the tire. Otherwise, it will not look like a tire. And we will also connect the mud guards to the back of the tire. That's very important. Otherwise, it looks like there's a hole there. How's everyone doing? You're mostly done. Very good. Now we have to draw a line coming from the center of the car. So this is the center of the car and this is the center of the hood. So we have to draw a line that comes along the center because there's a small handle over here which is used to lift up the hood so that they can keep stuff in it. Now see that this line looks parallel to this line on the left. Then we are going to draw two oval shapes for the lights.
two oval shapes again on the on slightly left of this side. And I'm going to show you how to draw these lights also. First, you'll just draw two oval shapes that are um, concentric. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this. First, draw the big oval. Now, draw the second oval a little inside to the right only. So, you have some space on the left. See this? Like this. So, it looks like it's slightly inside. Can you see this? It's like a C shape. And then, one more shape we have to make. So make the bottom very close to the light. And then make this come a little behind like this. Make this go a little behind and then join. Then it will look like 3D lights. Now the last part, we will put two lights on top over here. One is like that and one is right above here, like this. Draw a line from the center coming down. This is the door. So we will draw a handle which looks like this, like a flat teardrop shape here. Now, this is called the rim. So, in order to draw a good rim, just draw smaller ovals or smaller circles on the inside of these two tires only, not this tire. And then maybe another small circle right in the inside. And over here, we will draw an oval. That's it. That should do it. I think our car is ready now. So apart from the uh, the glass, you can do any kind of design on this car. These parts are going to become black. So you might as well shade them black. Or actually, you can even make them blue if you want. And now, whatever lines you think are not necessary, you can erase them. So I'm erasing, I'm using this eraser, which I can just roll on my drawing. And I don't go, I don't rub against, I just roll like that. See, just with your fingers, just roll it. And if you've drawn your lines very lightly, it'll pick up all the lead from your drawing. You don't need to do this, kiss, 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 kiss. And there won't be any dust from the eraser on your drawing also. Now you can directly just paint this card without even any drawing or if you want, you can draw things like maybe flowers or just dots, just polka dots maybe. Mom, can I draw that? Can I draw the design? What? Can you draw what? Can I draw a design? Yeah, yeah. Draw a design. Draw whatever you want. 
And then we can also write its name. We can, its name is what? The bug, right? So this is how we can write. You can make a, a line like this. This is called the baseline. And you call it the bug. So you make four. And it's also called the VW bug. So I'm making almost like a circle shape at the bottom and half a circle shape at the top. And on this, I'm going to write the VW I'm going to write. Oh, we can draw the logo. The logo is very nice. Wait, I'm going to erase this. Forget it. So here we will make a circle. I'll show you how to write the VW logo. And here, see, I've made these three boxes in which I'm going to write bug. So I'm going to write a big B U G. These are also um, guidelines. And then based on the guidelines, I will draw letters. Yes. I wait. I can't hear you, Viraj. Could you speak a little louder? Can you see mine? Ah, yes, I can. I'm going to pin it so I can see it better. Oh, oh very nice, wonderful, very good idea. Okay, now in this circle, we will draw a W like that. Wait, let me check the logo out one more time. So you know how they write it? They first put an X in the center. Not a big X, just a narrow X. And then they will draw a line from the sides so that this looks like W and this looks like V. And then you put a dash in the middle. See, this is the logo. You make an X in the middle. And then you make these two lines on the side. It's all in the circle. And then you'll just make these lines thick. And do it in pencil first. Do it lightly. Then you draw a line to make a thick circle. And the points of the W will might not be seen, but that's okay. So now when I have to write, write it in pen, in fair, I will draw only the middle sections. Because now I have all these. Or you can draw it with that. Um, shall we draw with it? No, without it. See if you can draw just the spaces in between. And space. And then space this. Oh, 
See, what I'm trying to draw is called negative space. I'm outlining negative space. And then whatever remains will look like your logo, whatever you want it to look. See? Even if your shape is a little wonky today, it's fine. Even mine is wonky. So we don't have to worry about that. There. Now around this, we will make one more circle. And all the spaces in between, we will paint blue. Then what is left will be the logo. I think I also want to do this 3D. So I'm going to make these, this 3D looking shape to the top. See? Okay, let's paint. I'm going to start with painting the logo so I can show you how it looks. Now I'm going to use a thin brush and a deep blue color, that's cobalt blue. And every time you paint, take some color out into your palette. There's already a blue color here, so I'm putting my new blue in the same place. I think this will go well for the color of VW. Blue and light gray. You can, yeah, you can do light gray also. But I'm going to keep my logo white because for those of you who don't know how to make metallic looking shapes with color, we can do that another time. And even if you don't do it, the logo will still look nice. Those of you who are painting, practice painting in such a way that in small spaces like this, you can control the shade. Every shade looks, everywhere the shade looks Yes. You see, I am only coloring the parts in between. See my drawing. Oh, one, one minute, Abdul. Let me just finish painting this section. I'll just quickly look up. One, one minute. If I look up right now, then I will leave a patch here. Okay. Let's see, show me. Let's see your picture, Abdul. Abdul, you want me to see your picture? Ah, nice. Very good. Very good. Chalo, very nice.
also those of you who are coloring with paint or even with color pencil, I want to show you how you can make these things look like glass. You take a little bit of paint, uh, Avantika, Viraj, mm. Abdul, both, all of you look up. I want you to see this. See how I'm doing this painting. Don't do it, but just watch. It's okay if you don't do it today. So I'm taking a little cerulean blue. That's a light blue color. And I'm going to put a little bit of color on top. Just on the top edge. Then I'm going to wa wipe my brush. Wash my brush. Wipe it. Just keep a little bit of water in it. And then drag the color from the top down and it can come all the way down i'm going to show you on the other glass also see this step looks a little bit like if this is glass see i've put this paint i'm washing my brush wiping it and just with a little wetness i'm not totally wiping it down because if i make it very dry then i won't be able to spread the color Wash, wipe, and gently pull the color down. See, this will make it look like it's glass. So you can try it on a separate sheet if you want to, or you can try it on this also. Try to make your glass look like this. Now, if you're doing this in color pencil, it's the same thing. Make it a little darker on top, and then as you come down, make it lighter and lighter, then it'll look like glass. Now I'm going to fill up my car with a lot of flowers. And then I'm making a nice big red flower right in the center. And little polka dots around. Now, what are the different kinds of designs you can make on cars? You can also color each section in a different shade. Now, that's one thing also we can do. So, suppose I make one side purple. Now, here's one thing also we can do. Is in some parts of the card, you can leave this unpainted. So it looks like a shiny car. What? Can you do any type of pattern you like? Yes, yes, you can do any kind of pattern you like. You can do things like stripes and dots also if you want.
Now I'm not painting on this center line. See this line we've oh. drawn? Because that's usually a trimming. So it would be a metal thing. But if you want to, or you, if you've already done it, that's also fine. It's not a big deal. It's your car. You can paint it the way you want to. So each of the mud guards, wherever you see this rounded section, some part of the rounded section, you can leave it. Don't paint over there. And that rounded section will be like a crescent shape, like a moon shape parallel to the shape. Now, this is something that is slightly more advanced. So maybe the older kids, if you want to give it a shot, you can try that, leaving highlights. But... And you can just copy where I have kept highlights. I've kept a smaller one here as well. And maybe one on the back. Now, we have to paint the tires. The tires have to be gray. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to paint the tire part with my, the black in my... Uh, watercolor kit. All tires, I'm going to make them black. Remember not to paint the center part black. And then we have to paint the inside of the mud guard also black. And that black will have to be really dark black. After this dries, then I will paint the inside of the mud guard. And I'm thinking maybe for the top of the car, I'll go with a rainbow color. I'm going to draw these stripes, paint these stripes. I'm going to have to wait till each stripe dries so I can put in the next color. In the meantime, I'll paint this fellow red.
Now this tire has dried. So I want to show you this part. The inside of the mud guard, see this section is very dark. So it must be blacker than the tire. So tires can be gray. But the inside of the mud guard must be very black. black. That way, when, uh, whenever you make this painting, it will look like there's a hollow there. Then it looks like a three-dimensional car. Okay, so that's it. Now, take your time painting the car. I also have to paint some more stripes here. Then I'm going to paint different, different maybe colors or prints or um, I don't know what all different things we can do over here. How are your bugs looking? You guys have any questions? Oh, so cute. Good job. But you've still made it tiny, Kyra. It has to be big. When are you going to make a big car? Last one I made a big one. What? Last one I made a big one. You did make one big one. That is true. Yes. This also you could have made big, but it's looking very nice. It's actually looking like a bug. I'm sure there are bugs in the world which are that big. Okay, how about everyone else? Do you have any questions? Would you like me to see your pictures? Ma'am, look at my... Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Good job. Now you can paint the bottom, the bug in your own colors, whichever you like. Avantika, how are you doing? Good, ma'am. I'll show you. Okay, let's see. Ooh, wow. Look at that. That's so cute. I love it. Wonderful. Have you filled it up with just dots? Yes, ma'am. I think it's beautiful. Very nice. The logos also turned out very good. Thank you, ma'am. Viraj, can we see? I'm very curious to see how your flame is looking. Oh, my. Very nice. Good. So now take your time in painting. It's already 8 o'clock. Uh, if you don't have any questions, then we will end the session for today. Okay?
And then once your pictures are done, will you please share them in the group so that I can have a closer look? Yes. Okay. Bye then. Good night. Bye, mom. Bye, mom. Bye. Mom. Bye. Bye.